Hi everybody, this is Lee and with this video I'm talking about Puerto Rico that they have a vote coming up June 11th and this is going to be on statehood. Um, they're going to decide between statehood or independent free association and so that'll be June 11th and then if they decide on independence and free association then they have another vote uh, scheduled for October, another referendum to decide whether it will be independence or free association. If they do vote for statehood, then they have to uh, seek approval from the U.S. Congress to actually be admitted uh, as the 51st, 51st state of the United States. And so many issues and many considerations are involved with this vote. And that if Puerto Rico does choose statehood, that there are uh, financial benefits that they will re receive about $10 billion in federal funds um, if they become the 51st state per year. And that also that they'll receive more benefits for the Medicare and Social Security taxes that they're currently paying, that right now they don't receive the same level of return for their taxes that uh, United States, um, individual states in the United States do. And that also, um, if they become the 51st state, that they will be able to um, take care of about seven, 70 billion in public debt uh, because they are currently facing a federal control board pushing for more austerity measures. And so um, also um, that they'll be able to declare federal bankruptcy and that they're prohibited from doing that right now. So there are financial incentives in voting for statehood, and then there are also possibly incentives for voting for either free association or independence. Uh, it's up to the people of Puerto Rico to decide, and I think we'll soon see, uh, see what they <laughs> choose to do. Good luck.